Welcome back to the talk. Today we're talking about amazing teens with autism. I became buddies with Carly Fleischman a few years ago. She is one of the most inspiring people I have ever met. She's a 16-year-old girl who has taught me more about autism than anyone else. Take a look at her remarkable story. Carly Fleischman's incredible story captured the world's attention when, after never speaking a word, she found her voice through the keypad of her computer. It's hard to be autistic because no one understands me. People just look at me and assume that I am dumb because I can't talk or act differently than them. Diagnosed with autism at the age of three, Carly was virtually trapped inside her own body. Carly's parents first noticed something was different within months of her birth as she was not achieving the same milestones as her twin sister. But her family never gave up. Carly's parents immersed their daughter in intensive behavioral therapy. And at the age of 11, Carly had a breakthrough when she typed the words help and hurt while feeling sick one day. Since that turning point, with the loving support of her family, friends, and her therapists, a whole new world has opened up for this amazing young woman. You're just being silly now. You aren't even crying, are you? Now, at the age of 16, Carly has her own blog and thousands of fans following her on Facebook and Twitter. Through her perseverance and determination, this brave teen has given insight into what it's like to be a young person living with autism. As you saw, Carly is an incredible young woman. Now, because it takes Carly a little bit of time to write, to tap out on her keyboard, we gave her some questions in advance. And earlier this week after the show, we cleared out our audience. And Carly and I, girlfriend to girlfriend, just sat down for an interview alongside her therapist, Howard. We spent a while together, but we cut it down for time. So have a look at a little of our conversation. Well, Carly, my girlfriend, welcome to the talk. I'm so excited you're here, and I have a lot of questions for you, so let's get started, okay? All right. I know what it's like to be the parent of a child with autism, but can you tell me, mm. can you tell me what it's like living with autism? I am an autistic girl, but autism doesn't define who I am or how I'm going to live my life. I have encountered many hardships in my life, but slowly but surely I have been overcoming a lot of obstacles in my path. There are many days when I think it might be easier to give up than fight. However, if I give up, if I don't try, then who am I really? Because when it's all said and done, I am Carly Fleischman, a girl who needs to try to be the best I can be. Great answer. Hey, Carly, what are the reactions from people when they see you for the first time? And how do you handle their reactions? How would you like them to react? No one ever looks at me and says, wow, she looks so smart. But I am so smart and the sad thing is I am judged on a 10 second appearance and not on what I'm really about. You are smart, Carly. I know you're smart because you and I tweet each other and write each other all the time. And you're one of the smartest girls I know. Carly, do you realize the impact that you're having? The truth is I see myself as a girl that types instead of talking out of my mouth. I don't really see anything so special about that. I blog. Twitter and Facebook with parents and autistic people to let them know they are not alone and not to give up hope. Wow. Well, I can say that you have had a huge impact and you are a role model, whether you're a reluctant role model or not. Carly, what would you say is your biggest accomplishment? My greatest accomplishment is what comes so easily for lots of people. It was in January of this year that I was able to go to a movie with my typical friends and do it on my own. Mm. That is my most cherished accomplishment. That's awesome, Carly. Can I tell you something? I want to thank you for being my girlfriend because you've taught me more about autism than any expert, any doctor, any book, anybody. 
and I really want to thank you for that. Can I get a high five up top? Thank you, baby. uses programs called WordQ and SpeakQ to help her communicate, and we're giving away copies of the software on our website, thetalk.com. I just wanted to say briefly thank you to Carly's mom, Tammy, for being here. Thank you for sharing your daughter with me. She's been a wonderful friend. Um, it was important for me to share that conversation because I want everyone to know that people that are nonverbal with autism have a lot to say. They're smart. And they know everything right. that we're saying. And it was right. important to show that because, Carly, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Can I get a high five again? You inspire me, baby. We'll be right back. You did great. Next time, the talk is all new with my friend Linda Carter. What she really thinks of the new Wonder Woman and that updated costume. Plus, Cougar Town's Josh Hopkins. Yeah. He plays Courtney Cox's boyfriend on the show. Now, the truth behind their off-screen relationship. The talk next time, live on CBS. I just want to thank Holly for sharing these beautiful bracelets with us in honor of Autism Awareness Month. Oh, yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, Leah. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Gloria and Julie, for wearing it. These are the Holly Rod Hope bracelets created by Honesty, and all the proceeds go to help families in this country affected by autism who struggle to access services. If you go to our website, thetalk.com, you can learn how to get one. And everyone in our audience is getting one! <laughs> Thank you, thank Holly. You. And we want to say a big thank you to Gloria Estefan for being with us the last two days. Thank you. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome back anytime. On Monday, Linda Carter will be here. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, it's always the right time to have the talk. <laughs>